Good afternoon, YouTube! Who's crazy to the core here? It's 10 minutes to 1 in the afternoon, and I got some bullshit for you. Alright, first off, we're going to talk about some political stupidity. We got some questions here. 21 stupid questions that need some good answers. We're going to talk about some protesting. All right. The election isn't until November 6th of next year, but we've already seen on the news and whatnot both sides of the political fence. And the idiots on that political fence who have put their bid in for the next United States president. Here are the following candidates for the following parties. The Republicans. Right, we'll go with the Republicans first. Republicans can't seem to make up their minds on who they want. But, you know, here's a list of people that I saw. that We have Congresswoman Michelle Bachman. We have Newt Gingrich, who used to be the Speaker of the House. Uh, John Huntsman Jr., whoever the fuck that is. Gary Johnson, another guy I don't know. Ron Paul, who sounds like he should be in porno. Rick Perry, maybe some relation to Luke. Uh, Mitt Romney, that guy's name's been floating around in politics before, but I don't know who he's from. And then, of course, we have PA, PAs, you know, used to be Senator uh, Rick Santorum, who wants to run the president. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? How the fuck am I supposed to know? Would you take the lollipop, unwrap it, and lick it yourself? Count how many licks it takes, and you come back to me on that one. There you go for the Republicans. Now for the Democratic. The Democratic bill. Question number two. Where's the beef? This question was posed by Wendy's a long time ago and still posed today. Where's the beef? I don't know, Wendy. What are you, what, what, what are you trying to say? There's no beef in your burgers? So you're asking, where's the beef in your burgers? I don't know. Go stand out in a cow pasture. As soon as I saw there. that Obama and Biden are running again for 2012, I'm sorry. I my, I just, duh. Okay, once again, he wants to run for president. The man who brought one horrible change to America wants to come back to screw it up even more. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I don't know. If a, if a freaking wood, if a woodchuck wants to chuck some fucking wood, he can go ahead and chuck some fucking wood. Just as long as it doesn't go through my house. My way. <laughs> third party independents. There's like a whole group of third party independent. I mean, groups upon groups upon groups that have, nah, people who are trying to run for office. Uh, if you really feel like looking... I'll, uh, below the box here, I'll put the website where I found out all this. And question number four. Who could it be now? But I don't know who's knocking at my door. If you want my personal opinion, who should be for, uh, my, my, my presidential hopeful for, for 2012 is Man Bear Pig. I'm being super serial when I say that he's got his shit together. <laughs> I personally see no reason why I need to go protest something that, no matter what we do, it's going to happen anyway. What is the correct correct greeting when answering a phone? Piss! I mean, if, if, if you honestly, if you people haven't seen this, you're all fucking blind. Question number six. That's supposed to be on fire? Why, yes. Okay. yes I is. was asked by a group on Facebook to go help protest the gas, tear gas bomb thing, uh, plant in Pennsylvania. Why am I going to go protest the fact that Egyptian protesters were tear gassed with grenades made in the United States? If I go and protest that, I mean, all it's going to do is you're just going to find another American grenade company to make them more. And why should I bitch about it? At least someone's buying American. Question number seven. Why did they let the slaves loose? 
really good question. Maybe we should go back in time and ask Abraham Lincoln why he did such a horrible, horrible thing. But honestly, in 200 plus years, what has changed? We have fought countless war after war after war after war. And for what? Honestly, ask yourself, for what have we had all these wars for? Freedom? Question number eight. Do you know the Muffin Man? Do you? Do you know the Muffin Man? I don't know the Muffin Man. I know the Donut Man. I know the Candy Man. I know the Mail Man. But no, they never do seen a Muffin exactly man. what our government wants us to do. Or allows us to do. I mean, correct? Isn't that why we fight all these wars and have our freedom? Because the government says we can have it. That's how I look at it. So then, um, if this is all true, then what was the point of the Revolutionary War? Question number nine. Is the gingerbread man made out of ginger? No. He's made out of ground chicken feathers. Mixed in with brown paint to make it look like... Why, why did we fight against the British for? Just so we could have our own elect tell us what to do? Yeah? Okay. And what about this Occupy movement? You know, the whole protesting thing. Let's go to the Occupy movement and throw my little thing in there. It lasted all of, like, what? 11 weeks? Question number 10. Why can't you take a shit without looking at it? What? Like, something like that? Like, 11 weeks? In some states, I think it's still going on, maybe? They're still holding on? But, um, so what did we get out of it? What? Really? You know, people got hurt for a peaceful protest. Looting and raping, raping among the protesters. And, and, and for what? What, what? what did we accomplish with doing this? Some airtime, maybe? You're, you're facing the newspaper and on the nightly news? 15 minutes of fucking fame? Question number 11. Where's Waldo? Give you a hint. He's in my basement. Tied up. Gag. Doused in kerosene, and after this video, I'm gonna light That's him it? on fire. I mean, really, you people, all you Occupy people, go home, get a job, do something other than sit around on your asses and make asses of yourself. Question number 12. Why do people put their faith in things they cannot see, hear, or touch? This is a question for, like, smart people. That's a very good question. I, mean, I guess it's just the fact that people need to put their faith in something. I mean, everybody puts their faith in something. I mean, you put your faith in your car's going to start when you get into it. You know, you put your you put your faith in your floorboards and you walk across and they don't crack. And you, so I don't know. I just guess it's just something people have to do. It's a human. I mean, really, do you think that sitting around and Saying that we're the 99% is really going to change the way the government thinks. Really? Yeah. Question number 13. Why? Why not? But I don't know. Why are you asking why? Why ask why? Just Chuck Norris versus Jet Li. Who would win in a fight like that? Question number 14. You did what? With who? For how much? Well, apparently what goes on in Vegas doesn't stay in Vegas. Chuck Norris is 71 years old. He's an 8th degree black belt grandmaster in Taekwondo. A retired Air Force police officer. Created his own martial arts called Chun Kuk Du. And has starred in over 39 films and TV shows. Pretty impressive. Yeah. He also endorses WOW. Question number 15. Who stole the cookies from the cookie jar? My bet it was Cookie Monster. Jet Li, on the other hand, he's 48 years old. He's a wushu master. Has starred in some 25 films, Chinese and American films. And doesn't pretty much endorse anything. Question number 16. How much is that doggy in the window? $1.69 a pound. 
I know everybody will probably say it's Chuck, but I'm going to go with Jet Li. He's younger and faster and smaller than Chuck Norris. Jet Li's on that one. Question 17. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Well, it's not you, you ugly ass. Hi. Here we go. Question 18. Why can't we make Bruce Banner angry? Why can't we make you angry, Bruce? What, you gonna turn into some green hulk and get all angry and beat us up? Now, the day I see somebody do that, I'll stop making people angry with my videos. That is the correct answer. Pass! Question 19. Who killed the hooker? It wasn't me. You can't take tongue prints. My guess is it was all this valor with the hookah in the 5x5 five five cement cell we locked ourselves in to come up with these questions. Everything should burn. Everything. Burn this motherfucker down. Question number 20. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Who's in Maui sipping a Mai Tai with some guy named Alfio? Question number 21. Final question. Would you shoot your mom if she turned into a zombie? Damn straight without a second fucking thought. Thank you, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I think I did. Pretty sure I did. Yeah, I enjoyed making it. You people have a good one, and peace, love, God bless. There's another good question. A lot of people do that, don't Why? Why do you take a shit and then look at it? What are you looking for? I mean... But, let's just say it was a long night in Vegas. In the last video that I did, we, you know, I did my whole Aquaman versus Namor fantasy match, say. The only person who voted, other than me, was Agent of Doubt. And so, the winner of the last video was Namor on the submarine. Congratulations. Check that out.